Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. It has been a little while that I've been sort of dropping little hints that I've been working on my beauty room slash closet room and it is finally the time to do the reveal. It is not perfect but it's as close as it's gonna get so I thought I would share with you guys the final reveal. But before we get into this whole video I wanted to say a big thank you to Kay Gorge for sponsoring this video. Kay Gorge specializes in the production of curtains, drapes that are designed by designers from Europe Europe and the US so when they reached out to me I could not be happier because I was desperately looking for curtains for my beauty room when I got them I was so pleasantly surprised the quality was beautiful I ended up getting the semi-transparent linen sheer curtains and I got them in the color beige it was the perfect color it wasn't too white and it wasn't that sort of cool taupe it was a warmer like sort of sesame beige they were semi sheer so they still let the light come in which is exactly what i wanted they had that whole linen look to them that i just love so much it feels very organic the length i got was 52 by 95 inches which was perfect because i just love when my curtains sort of drape on the floor and look a little bit messy at the bottom and i know it's not for everybody i know some people like to size them to you know be flush onto the floor but i just love when my curtains drape on the sides and sort of look messy that's just my thing and what i love there's other curtains that i'm probably gonna get and it's gonna be for that window right in the back there there are these semi-transparent linen curtains as well, but they're short and they're tie-ups. And I thought they were super cute. They had that whole cottage farmhouse look. I think I'm gonna get those next. For the price, the quality is amazing. They have indoor, outdoor. They also have blackout curtains. They have some really beautiful velvet ones. I think velvet curtains in the right home can look so beautiful and luxurious. They are super sweet. They're offering you guys a discount code. So if you guys are interested, you can check out their YouTube channel and their website, and I will leave all their information down below. We're gonna jump right into this whole room reveal. Enjoy.
I figured that this spot was the perfect spot for my hats. These are my go-to fedoras. I love these. And it adds a little decoration to the narrow wall. Then you also saw these two DIY sort of vessels that I created. They're sort of egg shapes. Then we're going to move on to this closet. I shouldn't be opening it, but I'm going to open it for you guys. It is pretty much all of my coats. Not all of them, but most of them. My winter coats, my fall coats. And then there's some of my purses on the top and just random stuff. And it kind of goes all the way to the back there. A lot of my other coats I have downstairs since I have another closet in the entryway. Moving on to this whole space, I created this closet wall with all things from Ikea. It didn't cost me a lot. I think it visually looks nice and I, I'm pretty much organized. So I have my blazer at the top here. I love a good blazer. I think it is so universal. You can wear it with a t-shirt, a pair of jeans. Moving on to the lower half here. These are my more fancy shirts. The ones that I wear for events or even just for occasions. Moving on to this section here. This is where I put my go-to shoes, the ones I wear the most often. So I put my cowboy boots, some of my platform shoes. I just think they fit perfectly there. And they're organized by color. Then you all know I love a good dress. These are my favorite dresses. So I put these here. So not all my clothes fit on this wall. If you guys saw my other video, I did a whole closet makeover and most of my kimonos, my tops, my uh, pants, my dress pants, my skirts, I put them in that room. But my dresses, my blazers and my things that I love to wear more often are in this room here. I just thought displaying all the beautiful patterns just added a little bit of dimension and texture to this room. So anyway, I love that. So underneath my dresses, I wanted to fill up that space and I got these three cubes that just fit perfectly. So I put my purse, I put some of my shoes, my Doc Martens, and I just think it fits in this gap that was right underneath the dresses perfectly. On the top here, I put all of these IKEA baskets. I have a lot of my summer or winter stuff in those baskets, the ones depending on the season. So right now I put away some of my summer stuff up there. I kind of switch it around when it comes to the seasons. So now we're going to move on to the last part of the whole closet wall. And this is where I put a lot of my accessories, some of my clutches, my beret hats. I have my scarves and uh, more berets and headbands as well. So this is like my little accessory shelf. Now we're gonna move on to the whole beauty section. This is where I come with my coffee in the morning. I sit, start doing my makeup. I find it so relaxing. I don't know about you guys, but when I do my makeup, I just, I, I get in the zone and I just think of nothing. So I just love this place right here. And I thought it was perfect in front of the window where the light hits me and the sun. I got this antique table on Facebook Marketplace. It actually was a kitchen table, but cut in half. It was all painted like this sort of teal color. I love bringing back the natural color of the wood. So that's exactly what I did. But let me tell you, it was a hell of a project. It was horrible. It took me forever. But anyway, I'm super happy of how it turned out. I just wanted to mix a lot of the old mixed in with the new then i have i'm gonna move on to the chair this is a chair that i'm not sure i'm probably not gonna keep i do find it's a little bit too big for the space so for now it's gonna be this one i got it at ikea it's a little too low compared to the vanity but i put a pillow here and it gives me a little height i got this pillow uh, from winners this from winners as well i probably will change it up i'm thinking of maybe looking for a black chair I'm not too sure, but anyway, we'll see. As of right now, this is gonna be what it's gonna be. Here, I got this mirror here, super good. It's from Amazon. And then there's my beauty products. Moving on to the curtains, I got these from K-Gorge. I absolutely love them. I think that they are perfect, the perfect curtains, the perfect color. I wanted something sheer just to let the natural light come in and I could not be happier of them. The quality is amazing for the price, so this girl is definitely ordering more from this company. Now we're going to move on to the whole mirror part. I actually DIY'd this mirror. I got it from Ikea, but then I went to Home Depot, created the whole frame around it, stained it, and there you have it, a one-of-a-kind Katya mirror. 
So as we're moving on, the reason why I put also that mirror in sort of the corner is if I were to put it on this wall, the lighting is just not as good since the window is there. So when I take my selfies, I do my hauls, it's like the best place I could put it. But it does bother me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I never liked furniture or accessories in the middle, it's just not my thing. I love things flat on walls, but anyway, it's fine as is. Now we're going to move on to my favorite section, which is this section. So I got this sort of dresser credenza at Ikea. I got it in the liquidation center. There was a little bit of scratches and scuffs on it. I just totally fixed it up and it, it fits perfectly. So I'll show you what's inside the dresser or credenza, whatever you want to call it. So I put these little baskets here, organized my sunglasses, also my necklaces that I wear. And then here are my bracelets and cuffs. And then the rest, I just put my jeans that I normally wear. At first, I was going to do the whole continuation of the closet on this wall, but I just felt it would close the whole room up. And I just wanted a, a section in this room to just look a little bit more decorative and just bring in a little bit of my uh, decors in this room without it being overwhelming. So a lot of you asked me about this picture. I actually got this at Omer des Sarres and it was in the tissue paper section. It's just this textured paper and I thought it was so beautiful. And when I saw it, I'm like, I can totally put this in a frame. Then you guys also saw this DIY project. I put it up. I'll put the links down below. This I got thrifted. This I got thrifted. I have no idea what this is. Something to do with maybe a shoemaker or I'm not sure. I got these two vessels from Winners. I got this wood bowl from Winners. I made these, this whole bead garland, and then these books are thrifted. My mother lives up north, and she picked up some dried flowers for me, and so I just thought they would look so pretty hanging here on this credenza. Now we're gonna move on to the last part. You guys are probably like, what is this stupid thing hanging here? So this is my little beauty station. This is my infrared light. This is where I take my chair, I come sit in front of it, and I do a little infrared session here. I just love this machine. I do it for a few minutes every other day and uh, my husband sometimes comes and sits with me to keep me company. So if you guys are looking for things to keep you young looking, this is definitely a great thing. Um, and then there's my little beach hat here that I put to cover up the um, cordage in here. Moving on to the last piece that I find ties everything together. This took me forever to get it right. I ended up buying like five carpets before I found the perfect one. And so I got this beauty here. I found this on Amazon. I just love the organic feel to it. I thought the colors were beautiful. It had my rust, my beige, my taupes, the ivories. And what I was looking for was a carpet that was just not, it's not super soft, it's very rigid. That's exactly what I wanted since there's a lot of traffic of me going in and out of this room. I don't want it to get ruined and I just thought this was the perfect option. I think I got a 6x7 or 6x8, sorry, 6x8 or 5x8, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I just think it fits perfectly in this room. It ties everything together. I hope you enjoyed this whole closet slash beauty room tour. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And just thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you always. Mwah. See you next time.